It's not every day you see Tony Romo next to Emmett Smith, also next to Alfonso Ribeiro. You might remember him as Carlton on The Fresh Prince. The star power at the first ever Club Corp Classic this week in Las Colinas, but the real stars, they've never worn a helmet, never thrown a pass in a pro football game, never starred in a movie. The wow factor in the first ever Club Corp Classic revolves around the celebrities, but in the minds of many, the most noteworthy aspect of the tournament is the commitment to honoring veterans, those who are playing, and every service member who wishes to attend being able to do so for free. We're still being taken care of um, after after what's been going on. You know, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq for you know ten years ago and. Five years ago, we're not being forgotten about. But it shows us that people really care, you know, it's that uh, veterans are not being forgotten. You know, all the hard work and sacrifice that we did to protect the country and our freedoms, um, you know, people remember that and they, they still honor that. So that's always a great thing. Fort Worth's Andrew Batchelder will never forget the day that changed his life. October 26, 2009, in Afghanistan, his helicopter crashing into a friendly helicopter at nighttime. Despite every extremity being shattered or broken, he was one of only two who survived in his six-man helicopter, and that left him with unimaginable remorse. You know, and just really, really took a, a, a toll on my mental health. And physical, physically and mentally, and just felt like I'd be better off, you know, not here. Batch Elder's depression ran so deep, he felt there was nowhere left to turn. If somebody asks me my story, I'll tell them about the, you know, the midair collision and everything like that, and then they'll say, you know, how long were you recovering? And I'll drop the, you know, I did attempt a suicide in there, and now I'm still recovering to this day. Chad Pfeiffer was in a Humvee in Iraq in 2007 when it ran over an IED. Unlike Andrew, Chad was the only one injured, in this case losing his lower leg, as well as his belief in having a normal existence. I questioned a lot of things after I was injured. You know, how was I going to live life with, you know, missing this limb, you know, as I looked into my future, you know, if, as silly as it might sound, but, you know, if, if women were going to look at me the same way, if I was ever going to get married, if I was ever going to have kids. Both men now blessed to have tremendous families and in each other blessed to have found tremendous friends. They say it was the sport of golf that gave them purpose and ultimately taught them how to win again. Having combined for five titles and President George W. Bush's Warrior Open, Chad having won it three times, Andrew having won it twice. For me, it's very therapeutic. Um, gets my mind just kind of thinking, you know, away from, from daily stuff. And then it gives you something to work at. After what we've been through, we can actually still move forward with a game of golf that some of the best players in the world are still playing. So, um, you know, that game of golf helps us survive in some senses. And during the tournament at Las Colinas Country Club, the two will easily have the most compelling conversation between holes, no matter how many famous folks they're paired with. Spread veterans as stories, you know, tell, tell these guys about the guys that I've met um, that aren't on the golf course, but still banging it out, surviving every single day. More than anything, Andrew Batchelder and Chad Pfeiffer hope their stories inspire other veterans to understand there is always hope. Number one, you are worth it. You are worth being here 24-7. Um, you have to find something that you love. I have a positive attitude. I know sometimes it's hard to do that. Um, but yeah, just have a positive attitude no matter what you do in life and, and things will work out just fine. You know, it's stories like these we need to hear more of. Stories of veterans who have found a way to heal mentally and emotionally. Some of the physical effects will always remain, but Andrew and Chad definitely have a message to share to the former All-Stars and All-Pros this week. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was heavy to listen yeah, to, you know, Andrew talk about suicide. Right. And, and I was like, do you talk, are you embarrassed to share that? And he was like, no, part of my past. And it's something others need to learn from. And for Chad to say, I wonder how women would look at me. I wonder if I would have a family. That, that, these are some issues facing a lot of veterans when they right. come out of battle. That we don't necessarily think of. Right. Or that we can't necessarily relate to. But the fact that they're talking about it and being so open and so candid about it, you know, that helps not only veterans, but just anybody else who's gone through some sort of trauma like that. 
I, I hope others are inspired because they are definitely uh, motivational for a lot of people. I was inspired by some of their golf shots. I saw that oh, yeah. shot out of the they, they can play too. Mine so they might actually, like <laughs> right. I mean, they might show up those all pros and all stars. They could.